This chef has not eaten in eight years. Every day she cooks food, but she does not eat it because this is her food. Who is she? Why doesn't she eat? And how can she survive without eating? Meet Loretta. Hi, Naz Daily. I'm Loretta, aka the Nilwama Foodie. Loretta grew up in England and she had a pretty normal childhood. Sometimes she had stomach problems, but she still ate food like most people. In fact, she loved food so much, she even became a chef. Until one day, when this happened. And then when I was 18, I woke up in unbelievable pain every time I ate. It took doctors years to figure out what was wrong with her. They kept telling her to change her diet. So she ate this and ate that, but nothing worked. It was a mystery and she was suffering. And then her life changed forever. I found out in 2015 that I was unable to eat like a normal person. She has Ehlers-Danlos, a rare syndrome that causes gastroparesis. And basically, it means she has a paralyzed stomach. See, when we eat food, our body activates the stomach to digest it. But for Loretta, it doesn't do that. It does not activate and the food does not digest. This is very painful and it means I cannot eat or drink anything. No food, no drink, not even water. How does she survive without food and water? Instead of eating food, I use this bag. This tube goes into my heart and then nutrients are fed into my bloodstream. She uses this bag for 18 hours a day, every single day. It's filled with a liquid that gives her everything she needs every day, like proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes. This bag saves Loretta's life, but it also means, technically, she never has to cook ever again. She could quit being a chef, but cooking is her passion and she didn't want to stop. Just because I can't eat doesn't mean I can't cook. So she just kept cooking. Now I know what you're thinking. How does she cook if she can't taste the food? Well, turns out she cooks with her nose. The way I cook now is by utilizing my knowledge, skills and intuition and definitely smell to be able to still create delicious recipes. At the end of cooking, I always get family or friends to taste the foods to make sure the balance of flavors are right and it's ready to eat. Okay. Loretta has a positive attitude about her condition, but still, her life is not easy. At this time, there is no cure. Sometimes she even has to use a wheelchair and she gets many infections from changing her tube. But she is determined not to give up and to keep sharing her story. Remember, your current situation isn't your final destination. We should never let obstacles get in the way of our passions. Thank you, Loretta, for sharing your story. And to everyone watching, share this video with someone who needs a reminder to never give up. Now speaking of eating, if you want to meet the people who eat rocks, check out this video and follow for more content like this. We're also leaving this playlist which we think you might like.